Hello YouTube, this is my classroom tour. So we walk in and you come to the daily schedule. And then on the other side is where my students put their binders away independently as possible. And my little Vanna is helping me out. And then here is um, where they're gonna move their home, their name from home to school. And I'm gonna create a sign in on that uh, board right next to it. I'll have to do a separate video for that to show you exactly what I'm going to do. And then over here is um, my reading area. It has all my uh, ELAR materials. That's my teacher area back there. It's a work in progress, but everything does not have to be perfect when you start the school year. Um, here's my library where my students can come and sit in a rocking chair. Uh, and before I go, before I went over there, we had panned over to the independent work area, but it's not ready yet. But my books are in order by uh, topic. And my kids seem to like the dinosaur loves to read book. I still have to put the it's time to read up high enough, but I don't want it to block my student of the month board that's right above the bookshelf. And then that heart in the middle, my students hand painted it. Um, my first class hand painted the bookshelf, I mean the heart. Here's my restroom, or the hallway that leads into my restroom. And I might as well show you my restroom while I'm at it. So here's the restroom, and this is their communication board for the restroom. Um, Bubbles was in the wrong place. They get to choose a reinforcer for using the restroom. And over here, I have this big oversized trash can where my students can throw their breakfast foods away. But over here is the science center. It's a work in progress. And it's an aid run station. I have microwave. Coffee pot, toaster oven, refrigerator, all that. Sink. And there's another bulletin board. My word wall is there. And then here is my communication uh, board here. It's all in black and white because we're going to add the color pictures as the students learn the words. So that's it. My chairs are start stacked up on top of the table because it's the end of the school day and the custodians have not come in yet to clean the floors. So here's my area where I work with my students. And there's my LLI kits and my SRA kits. There's the computer station. And that Mac right there has a touch overlay. That's why it looks weird. And then that's my ICANN board for my kids my, who make achievements in the birthday wall. And then here's our morning calendar or calendar time. That's where my numeral, my number system is going to go with the uh, different numbers for the week. That board down there is going to have 10 frame on it as we introduce it. Here where I'm gonna put my learning targets here. And those are just my I can statements so that every large group we read the I can statements. And here's my good choices, poor choices, and we are bucket fillers. So every day we go over good choices and um, the words that we, uh, the different types of things we can do to fill each other's buckets. And those are my students, and that's their buckets. And then we um, 
if they make a poor choice, then I let them know what the poor choice was on this board. Compliment, compassion, responsibility, sharing, kindness, respect, thoughtfulness, and giving are the words that we're using to fill each other's buckets. So if we see that happening, then um, we verbally articulate to the kids what just happened and show them on the board what just happened. And then they're going to have, they're making picture cards next week that uh, will help them make the connection a little better to how they're filling each other's buckets. And then here's the character trait of the month. It's respect. And um, this thing I got from 31. So it has my pair of professional pockets so they can put their, their papers and things that they get from the front office in there. And then I also keep my lunch uh, bag in there for with the students' lunch cards in it. We don't keep money in our classroom. So I probably need to erase that. And here are the clocks that tell them what time to do things. We had to take everything off the top of that shelf, if you recall from my previous video. So it's empty now, but I have to take that one thing down. Those are my kids' communication binders that I have to uh, update because they have seen better days. I think I'm going to add some duct tape to them or something. But they're really useful. It has the learning target and first then, first you work, then you do this on it. So they get small reinforcers while they work. Maybe a um, movement time or silly ball or string. My clocks need to be moved and updated. But like I said in the beginning, your classroom needs to be set up, but everything does not have to be done right away. When the kids come in, they're going to add more to my walls um, as we go through the year. And the the room will change as we go through the year. That daily schedule thing I'm going to have to do something with because my friends like to uh, flap it. One of my friends like to flap it. I don't know if I'm going to do something with that versus getting him to understand that that's not something that you flap. But it's a high sensory need for him, so I don't know. Here is the character traits that we're using as a school, uh, school-wide. So I like to integrate things that are school-wide with my kids. Here's the calm down area. This is where you can go have your meltdown, throw a fit. Because sometimes you just need to let it out. But I'm going to teach you uh, your voice skill, your volume skill, what we use in the classroom. Um, have you reflect on what you did. You can use your safe place words. Because my kids are limited verbal or nonverbal, so I have to have visuals and words to represent things that they might want to say all around my room. Thanks for watching my channel. In my channel. It's not your channel. I was in your It's your channel. mommy's channel. Thanks for watching my channel. And, and I want to tell them. For things okay. to watch, tell them. My, tell the people. my school channel. Okay, tell the people. Th and thanks for watching my school channel. Like, like, subscribe, subscribe, and hit the bell, and hit the bell to watch more of my channel. To watch more of my channel. Awesome teacher. Below in the description box are also my Facebook, uh, Instagram. What else do I have to talk to? Me? I don't know. Twitter. Twitter? Mm -hmm. All that's below, so you can follow me on most social media plat platforms. And um, y'all can follow me on Instagram, like Naya and Allie. Make sure to follow them on Instagram too. Thank you.